Hi, uh, good morning and welcome back. Today let's learn how the counter plates and the friction plates and the shaft, I mean the axle shaft in the uh, rear axle contribute towards the brake effect. So let's see how they happen. This is how the animation looks like, how the counter plates and friction plates move each other. Now let's learn more in detail. So those are the rear uh, tires, the right hand side and the left hand side tires. So this is the axle housing or the axle casing, the rear axle casing. So that's our axle shaft, the RH and the LH axle shaft. We have two axle shafts, okay? And those are the friction plates uh, connected towards the axle shaft. Each axle shaft have five uh, friction plates. So altogether we have 10 friction plates. They are fixed towards the axle shaft and as the axle shaft rotate, these friction plates also rotate. So now in green, we have the counter plates. The counter plates are fixed towards the axle housing and these counter plates will not rotate because they are fixed towards the axle housing, but they are not connected towards the axle shaft. So in this condition, the axle shaft can rotate with the friction plates and the tires will also rotate. See here, here the green are the counter plates. You can see the counter plates will be connected towards the housing and they are not connected towards the axle shaft. Okay, these are the friction plates in blue. They are connected towards the axle shaft. So as the axle shaft rotates, the friction plates also rotate. So here we have the axle shaft. So let's go back and see. Uh, it's clear, right? The red one is the axle shaft. The blue one is our friction plate. The green one is our counter plate. So the counter plate are fixed towards the axle housing, friction plates towards the axle shaft. Okay, fine. Let's go back and see the animation. So now in this condition, the axle shaft is free to rotate. So the friction plates also rotate and our tires also rotate. Okay, right. So I am applying the brake pedal. So through the master cylinder, the pressure reaches the brake piston and it exerts a pressure on counter plates and the friction plate. So that green are the counter plates. The blue is a friction plate. That's the axle housing and that's the axle shaft. So now the pressure has been exerted towards the counter plate. So this will tend the counter plates to move towards the friction plate. And see, this is finally what happens, a locking effect. So now it's free. The friction plates are free and the counter plates are free. free. Sorry. And here you can see the counter plates get locked with the friction plate. As they are locked, the friction plates locks the axle shaft. At this condition, the axle shaft can rotate with the friction plates because the friction plates are free. And at this condition, the counter plate locks the friction plates and in turn, the friction plates lock the axle shaft. So the brake effect has been carried out right now. The counter plates are locked towards the casing or the axle housing and the friction plates are locked by the counter plates and the axle, axle has been locked by the friction plate. Right? So I believe you understand how uh, the counter plates and friction plate contribute in a brake effect uh, in a hydraulic braking system. It's simply this what's happening inside the axle. So if you like this video, you know how actually to thank us. And for more detail, you can visit our website www.techtricksinfo.com. Thanks for watching this video. Share this in social media so that your friends can also learn about this. Thank you.